is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is The Weekly Dumb. Jake, how you doing? James, Zach, the audience, no, too early for blood. Uh, I'm doing well. Big weekend. We went to the Yankees game. It was your baby's first Yankee game. Hello, baby. He liked it. Swear? Yeah. I ate buffalo wings at the game, and I'm never doing that again. What a mess. <laughs> and tell them the other stuff you ate. I had two cookies and two brownies as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any beer? No. Good job, man. Thank you. Good job. That's why I ate like a piggy. We also uh, played against some world-class cricket tricks this weekend. Hey, show the wicket. And what else? Did it we was do? a sticky wicket on the pitch, and I was like, hey. Hey. Yeah, it was. It was a sticky wicket. Go watch GeoGuessr. Do we say that now? Go watch GeoGuessr. I mean, 60 minutes to win it. Otherwise, one of us had to eat mustard. You're going to want to watch it. Rake Yan was with us. That's all the news about our daily lives, and now we're going to move on to the sports news brought to you by J-Rock. The Rake Yan thing was not true. Jim, big sports weekend. Baseball. We love baseball. Hey. Miguel Cabrera, 3,000 hits. Jim, it's one of the bigger feats of baseball. Um, they show that they keep showing the list of like who's next to do it, and it's like, oh, nobody. No one. So kind of enjoy it because it's going to be a while. Uh, and then your guy, Angel Hernandez. Yeah, Angel Hernandez, breakdown gold. I love Angel Hernandez. But I also think he shouldn't be an umpire in the league anymore. Yes. Umpires union is embarrassing themselves. I'm pro-union. Pro-union. But can unions not kick out people? You'd like to think they could. Ah, maybe not. Maybe that's the whole point, kind of. They should get, they should, Angel shouldn't ump games. I'm not going to say anything too out of line here but angel hernandez should not ump games i'm working on the breakdown of it right now it'll probably be up he before this episode comes that. out so go watch it again and he knows that he has to know how bad he is he has to jim speaking of bad leading to good which we should all hope for every day what about this almost breakdown oh almost a breakdown yeah you missed you forgot the a in the middle of it the a it? slipped away <laughs> eric holla had a penalty shot. Yes. And he skated past the puck. He missed it altogether. Now, this breakdown, or almost a breakdown, resonated with me because I did this when I was in eighth grade, and my Barrington Red Wings traveled mm. up to Canada to play against the Canadian boys, and we were just getting our absolute asses kicked. Shit pushed. Now, mine wasn't a penalty shot, but the puck was sitting right on center ice, and I had a fast break, and, you know... Almost all of Barrington, Illinois, got hope. Like, we might get one right, here. This is the one. Jimmy's on a breakaway. And I skated right past the puck, and the defender just got it, and then they had an odd man rush because I was past it. That Disney announcer, that's, uh, Jimmy's on a breakaway. Yeah, yeah. That was nice. Anyway, anyway, uh, he forgets the puck. Then he turns around, grabs it, and takes a penalty shot. Mighty Ducks, Charlie Conway, circle the puck three times. Goalie never knows what's coming. Truly do think this messed up the goalie a little bit because the goalie in his head was like, wait, is that allowed? It's the pitcher holding their leg up. It's a hesitation. It throws yeah. off your routine. Yeah. The guy scored. Otherwise, we're not talking about this. No, guy scored. You pat. You're down. Just hearing the heartbeat of the table. Thanks, DraftKings. Thanks, DraftKings. I bet we'll talk about more sports. You want me to talk about? You want to talk about? What's in your jacket? <laughs> to be fair, I hate you. To also be fair, I dodged it. <laughs> yeah, you think you did dodge that it. That was badass. But dodge this one. <laughs> I shot the ball right shot out of his hand. Shot the ball right out of his hand. Have you ever seen that? Don't. I have a gun holster down there. I knew you were reaching into your shirt for a gun. Yeah, you knew. That was awesome. Uh, not as awesome as Red Wing Zamboni driver gets fired for peeing in the ice. Yeah, Al Sabatka, which is, I think, the name from The Wire. You have to work in hockey or vodka if your last name's Sabatka. Or uh, the shipping center in Baltimore. That was a show, Jimmy. Al Sabatka, 68 years old, says he's been working for the Red Wings for 51, which means he started his career at 11 years old? 17. No, 17. You can't do that. This is an Angel Hernandez situation. Yeah. He's unfireable. 51 years. 51 years. What is he going to do? And that's what he said. He said, I, what am, I, I'm so sick of looking at the TV. What am I going to do? I've been working for the Red Wings since I was 17. I need to know. So it says on February 2nd when the incident took place, another employee saw him. Who's the rat? Going back to the... The not sports, Jim. This was a story that 
You said you were super close to. Westminster College, a liberal arts college in Salt Lake City, is offering a porn class. Film 3000 porn. It's worth two credits, and they're going to watch porn in class and talk about the sexualization of race, class, and gender as an experimental radical art form. And a bunch of Mormon boys are going to just come their pants. So I've taken this class unaccredited, and I'm excited for the people involved. I think... Um, what have you learned? Ooh, what have I learned? You know, it's probably to the Weekly Dumb, it's quick show. We don't if if the first day it. in this class, but, yeah. anybody sitting in the seat next to them, right. you got to end the class. Like, if everyone goes in there... And there's just a gap of three seats. It's just the most spread out class you've ever seen. Well, you are just now a movie theater in Los Angeles in the 1960s. I think you could do that in class. <laughs> like that. Play of the week. Dog, I know I bust this out here and there. Play of the week. Play of the week. Yeah. Like we stood in against cricket pitchers that were throwing very hard. Yeah. Like full blown cricket. At us. Yeah. It was scary. It was scary because you couldn't really see the ball as well. And I put some in play. Yeah. I watched the one where I'm just scared. Yeah. And uh, it's funny. That's a shot in cricket. More so pitching to them, like I tweeted out yesterday, and them swinging at balls that are just like a baseball. We, like you would, no one would ever swing at. Right. It's pretty funny. Different zone discipline. So we're the employee of the week. No employee of the week. Oh, that's what it says here. Cricket players. Shout out to the cricket crew. Major League Cricket. Crickets. Crickets. Cricket. Major League Cricket is coming to the U.S. The sport and the animal. It's going to be a team near you. Final shot. Final shot? No. That was a weekly dumb. Hey, baseball fans. It's time to step up to the plate with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. New customers can bet just $5 on any team and win $200 in free bets if you get it correct. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code JOHNBOY. Bet just $5, win 200 in free bets. Promo code JOHNBOY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. 21 plus restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission. See show notes for details. It's loud. I yelled at you. This is how much I hate loud noises. I I genuinely that one was right in my ear. I had a conversation with Jess this weekend because she did like an obnoxious sneeze, like a ah choo, and it was too loud. And I was like, Jess, I don't do that. For life. Yeah. I don't do that. I don't like loud noise.